Hey guys, it's Alex Osh1234 here from iPhoneExpert.com and today's video is going to be on Boss Paper. Boss Paper is classified as a somewhat replacement for Winterboard. As you can see right in the background here, I have alternating wallpapers and you can easily do this in Boss Paper and have static wallpapers with ease, meaning it's very easy to do. So let's just go to the application. Oh, I forgot to mention. Boss Paper, it allows you to keep the icons that you have in Winterboard. So right now I'm using the Illumine theme. And that's my favorite theme. I have a big video on that, so go check it out. It just overrides the wallpapers and allows you to have alternating ones with transitions and timers and dims on that wallpapers. It's really cool and it has a ton of features. It's been out for about three weeks maybe or two and a half, something like that but it's a really great application and I wanted to share it with everyone. So let's go to it. Okay, so we have the boss paper here. Let's just read some of the features. It rotates images, meaning animated wallpapers. It has rotations, stops, so it saves battery when you're in an application. It has transitions, it has rotates on a timer, so you can time it, and it's totally customizable and controllable. You select what gets shown and it saves a lot of RAM. Winterboard is uses a lot of RAM and Boss Paper does not. So that's a really big feature. Low RAM and CPU use. Almost no hit to standard iPhone performance. RAM is about one megabyte to load two pictures. Winterboard JavaScript rotation is a huge hit on iPhone performance in both CPU, battery, and RAM. Okay, so let's just get into the application so you can just see some of the main features. Okay, so I have Boss Paper enabled. Okay, so I can choose solid colors. I don't really like that. So I can go to folders. I downloaded a Boss Paper wallpaper pack in Cydia. You can just go and find those very easily. And this is all landscapes, which you saw when I started the video. Those are all landscapes. So 103 rotating images and they're in no certain order so it, it's really awesome and you'll always see new ones coming up. You can change to individual pictures meaning I can go to add you can choose from the boss paper packs, winterboard themes, camera roll, wallpapers it, meaning the ones that come with your iPhone and you can browse for folders. So let's just go to wallpaper I want to show you this. Let's just find one that's kind of cool. Okay say I just want to use this one go to that I click add now I want to go here because I don't want to see these alternating landscape ones I click remove Wait, there we go click the home button and there you see there's just that and it's gonna still be alternating because transitions is still on it's really sweet it's not the highest quality but still pretty sweet okay so let's go to boss paper again and you can see I had all those folders, meaning all those 103 wallpapers ready to change. Then you can change dock images. I don't really like this. Well, I mean, it's pretty sweet, but I haven't gotten into it that much. You can play around with this application for hours and test out new things, make your own wallpapers that alternate certain words or certain cool things, but I haven't done that yet. You can just have colors and you can have transitions, which I have on mine, the curl. So. I see I've curl checked but we can see all these in action so that's what we do the ripple it's pretty sweet move in let's try that one well, I cl oops I clicked the wrong one oh. there we go they're all really sweet fades ooh nice nice so I have all those selected and they change out. So then I have on app close, meaning it doesn't mess up the battery and waste your battery and it saves battery and, and RAM. Change on timers on and it's set to 17.01 seconds. That's how often it changes the wallpapers. And transition length, meaning how long the transition is going on, like the curl or the push thing, it's going on for one second. Disable random, meaning if I put this on, they'd be in a certain order. So if you set up your wallpapers in a certain order and selected that, they'd be in a certain order. <laughs> then you can dim your wallpapers. So 58.58, that's the percentage. You can hide icon labels from this and hide dock labels. That's another cool feature of this. 
So again, this is a really awesome application. I can go to folders and I don't know, I could download more packs from Cydia. I can use my camera roll and find all these sweet ones and use that. I get tons of questions, how do I change my wallpaper? This is the application to do it and it's very simple as I showed you and it really saves a lot of RAM and battery as compared to Winterboard. So this is my overview on the Boss Paper application slash tutorial also showing you what it can do and how to use it. I hope you really like this video. Make sure to go to my website iPhoneExpert.com check out my website. It's really becoming a really nice website with a ton of sweet features and a lot of people are checking it out so I appreciate that. Ch check out the forums, the wallpapers, those are awesome cool things on there. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Rate 5 stars. If you like this video, I hope you do. Comment and I really appreciate all subscribers. When I hit 30,000, if you're still watching this video at this time, I really appreciate you're a loyal viewer too. When I hit 30,000 subscribers, which should be in a few days, I'm going to do a pretty big giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks.